government. It says we're in very good company because only 16 teams have been able to do that in the last 10 years. And all of them are the names that, if you had a guess, those are the ones you would guess. I think if you didn't know that we were one of the 16 teams to make uh, a run to the Sweet 16 four out of the last 10 years, you would not have guessed us until maybe you got to, you know, guess 100. We've been hardworking. Um, we've been extremely consistent, you know, and that is so hard, and it's even harder now to be consistent. You know, the 20 win seasons, the top half of the ACC. Boy, you watch some, you know, it's, you know, it's, you can climb a ladder one step at a time, right? You can't get to the top in one step, but you can sure get to the bottom on one misstep, and I don't think you've seen us do that. Uh, everybody has, has looked at the University of Miami as a football program, as a football school, and that's, there's a good reason for that. Our football program has won five national championships. And even those who follow baseball know we've, we've won four national championships in baseball. But our basketball program has really been elevated over the last 12 years. Yeah, I think um, obviously Miami has a lot of things to do, but both of our teams have been so successful this year. Like we're a basketball school. Um, we both have been really good in the postseason. So I think that we felt the love for Miami. A lot of people think that when it, when they bring up Miami basketball, it's a lot of other things to do in Miami, like as far as distractions. But uh, being a student athlete, we know we just got to take care of business and you know keep your priorities first. The best way to get recognition is to to win something, um, whether that's games, championships, conference championships, you name it. Um, the best thing that we can do to get recognition instead of asking for it is to do something about it. You know what I mean?